Today, I've got something really special for you. I'm about to spill the beans on a secret method and technique that Neville Goddard shared exclusively with his top-tier clients. This secret technique has the power to manifest a substantial sum of money, potentially even millions of dollars, in a remarkably short period. This Neville Goddard secret money method will make you rich. However, it's a closely guarded secret that few people know about. But what if I told you that there is a secret technique that can help you manifest a huge amount of money in a short time? A technique that has the potential to manifest millions of dollars for you. But before I reveal this technique to you, I would like to ask you a favor. Please support my channel and podcast by hitting the like button and subscribing. It would mean a lot to me and help me reach more people who need this information. Thank you so much for your kindness and generosity. This secret technique will change your life forever. Today, I'm excited to share a powerful story inspired by Neville Goddard, revealing a unique and unconventional method for attracting money and wealth, regardless of your current circumstances. Neville Goddard taught that imagination is the only reality, and that we can manifest anything we desire by assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled. He also taught that there is no limit to what we can create, and that the only obstacle is our own doubt and disbelief. But how long does it take to manifest our desires? How long do we have to persist in our imaginal acts until they become physical facts? How can we speed up the process and attract money and wealth faster and easier? I will share with you some of Neville Goddard's insights on these questions, and show you how you can apply them to your own reality creation practice. I will share with you how you can speed up the process by using your imagination and feeling the reality of your wish fulfilled. Neville Goddard taught that everything in the world is a manifestation of our own consciousness, and that we can change our reality by changing our state of mind. He said that the world is a mirror, reflecting to us our inner states, and that the secret of imagining is the greatest of all problems, to the solution of which every man should aspire. One of the key concepts that Neville Goddard taught was that we should live in the end result of our desire, and not in the means or the process. He said that the end is where we begin, and that the feeling of the wish fulfilled is the secret of successful manifestation. He also said that there is no such thing as a little pregnancy, either you are pregnant or you are not, meaning that either you have assumed the feeling of your desire or you have not. So how long does it take to manifest your desires according to Neville Goddard? The answer is, it depends on how long it takes you to assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled. Neville Goddard said that it does not matter if it takes one day or a thousand days, get into the feeling of your wish fulfilled and stay there. He also said that time is only relative to your state of consciousness, meaning that time can speed up or slow down depending on how aligned you are with your desired state. One of the examples that Neville Goddard gave was his own experience of manifesting a trip to Barbados. He said that he wanted to go to Barbados, but he had no money or means to do so. He decided to use his imagination and feel as if he was already in Barbados, seeing the world from that perspective. He did this every night before falling asleep, for several weeks. One day, he received a letter from his brother, who offered him a ticket to Barbados as a gift. He accepted the offer and went to Barbados, where he experienced everything exactly as he had imagined. Another example that Neville Goddard gave was his own experience of manifesting money. He said that he wanted to have $1,000, but he had no idea how to get it. He decided to use his imagination and feel as if he already had $1,000 in his pocket, counting it and spending it in his mind. He did this every day for several days. One day, he received a check for $1,000 from an unexpected source. He cashed the check and spent the money exactly as he had imagined. These examples show us that Neville Goddard was able to manifest his desires in a matter of weeks or days, by using his imagination and feeling the reality of his wish fulfilled. However, he also said that there is no fixed time, some will do it in a few days, some in a few weeks, some in a few months. He also said that the time it takes your assumption to become fact, your desire to be fulfilled, is directly proportionate to the naturalness of your feeling of already being what you want to be. This means that the more natural and normal you feel about having your desire, the faster it will manifest. The more you doubt or worry about how or when it will happen, the slower it will manifest. The more you feel grateful and joyful about having your desire, the faster it will manifest. 
The more you feel anxious or desperate about needing your desire, the slower it will manifest. So how can you make your desire feel natural and normal? How can you assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled with ease and confidence? Here are some tips from Neville Goddard. Use your imagination creatively and vividly. Imagine scenes that imply the fulfillment of your desire, as if they were happening now. Use all your senses and emotions to make them as real as possible. Repeat your imaginal scenes until they feel natural and familiar. Do this every day, especially before falling asleep or upon waking up. Use affirmations or statements that affirm your desired state is true. For example, I am wealthy, I am healthy, I am loved. Repeat them with conviction and emotion until they feel natural and true. Use visualization or mental pictures that represent your desired state as true. For example, see yourself holding a check for $10,000, see yourself in Barbados, see yourself with your ideal partner. Feel the joy and gratitude of having what you want. Use scripting or writing down your desired state as true. For example, write a letter to yourself or to someone else, describing how happy you are with your manifestation. Write it in the present tense, as if it were happening now. Use meditation or relaxation techniques to calm your mind and enter a state of receptivity. In this state, you can impress your subconscious mind with your desired state more easily and effectively. Use prayer or asking for divine guidance and assistance. Neville Goddard said that prayer is the art of assuming the feeling of being and having that what you want. He also said that the secret of prayer is to be thankful in advance for what you want. He advised us to pray as if we already have what we want, and to thank God for it. By using these techniques, you can assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled and manifest your desires faster and easier. Neville Goddard said that the time it takes is not really important, what is important is that you persist in the assumption of your wish fulfilled until you are possessed by it. He also said that when you know what you want, and you want it badly enough, you will find a way to get it. So, if you want to manifest money and wealth, or anything else, follow the teachings of Neville Goddard and use your imagination and feeling to create your reality. Remember that all things are possible to him who believes, and that you have the power, nothing comes from without, all things come from within. The only limit is your own imagination. We all want to see results as soon as possible. We don't want to wait for months or years to get what we want. We want it now. Well, the answer to this question is not so simple. It depends on many factors, such as the clarity and specificity of your desire, the intensity and consistency of your emotion, the level and frequency of your belief, the alignment and congruence of your action, the resistance and interference of your ego, the timing and synchronicity of the universe. All these factors influence the speed and quality of your manifestation. However, there is one factor that is more important than all the others. It is the factor that determines how long it takes to manifest anything. It is the factor that Neville Goddard emphasized in his teachings. It is the feeling of naturalness. What does it mean to feel natural about something? It means to feel that it is already done. It means to feel that it is already yours. It means to feel that it is normal and natural for you to have it. When you feel natural about something, you don't doubt it. You don't worry about it. You don't wonder how or when or where it will happen. You don't need any signs or proofs or validations. You just know it. You just accept it. You just live it. This is the state of mind that Neville Goddard called the Sabbath. It is the state of mind where you rest from your work of creating. It is the state of mind where you let go and let God. It is the state of mind where you enter into the promise. Neville Goddard said, The time it takes your assumption to become fact, your desire to be fulfilled, is directly proportionate to the naturalness of your feeling of already being what you want to be, of already having what you desire. So how do you achieve this feeling of naturalness? How do you enter into the Sabbath? How do you make your assumption a fact? There are many ways to do this, but I will share with you one simple technique that I learned from Neville Goddard. It is called the scene technique. The scene technique involves creating a mental scene that implies the fulfillment of your desire. 
It involves imagining a scene that would take place after you have already manifested what you want. It involves feeling as if you are already living in the end result. For example, if you want to manifest money and wealth, you can imagine a scene where you are looking at your bank account statement and seeing a large amount of money. You can imagine how you would feel, what you would say, what you would do, who you would share it with. The key is to make the scene as vivid and realistic as possible. Use all your senses and emotions. Make it short and simple. Repeat it over and over again until it feels natural and real. Neville Goddard said. Make your future dream a present fact by assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled. When you do this, you are impressing your subconscious mind with the idea that you already have what you want. You are planting the seed of your desire in the fertile soil of your mind. You are activating the law of attraction and drawing your desire to you. You are also aligning yourself with the divine will and timing of the universe. You are trusting that everything will happen in the perfect way and at the perfect time. You are surrendering to the higher power that knows better than you. Neville Goddard said. Leave the how to the I am within you. He knows how to do it. So how long does it take to manifest something? It takes as long as it takes for you to feel natural about it. It takes as long as it takes for you to enter into the Sabbath. It takes as long as it takes for you to make your assumption a fact. It could be a day, a week, a month, a year, or more. It doesn't matter. The time will pass anyway. The only thing that matters is your feeling of naturalness. So don't worry about the time. Don't count the days or hours or minutes. Don't look for signs or proofs or validations. Don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself by their standards. Just focus on your scene. Just feel your wish fulfilled. Just live in the end. And then, one day, you will wake up and realize that your dream has come true. You will see that your reality has changed to match your imagination. You will experience that your desire has manifested. And then, you will say, it is done. Neville Goddard taught that we can manifest anything we desire by assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled. But how long does it take to manifest our desires using this method? And what can we do to speed up the process? Neville Goddard did not give a specific time frame for manifestation, because he believed that time is relative and subjective. He said that the time it takes your assumption to become fact, your desire to be fulfilled, is directly proportionate to the naturalness of your feeling of already being what you want to be of already having what you desire. In other words, the more natural and real it feels to you that you already have your desire, the faster it will manifest in your physical reality. But how can we make our assumption feel natural and real? Neville Goddard gave several techniques and practices that can help us achieve this state of mind and feeling. Here are some of them. Revision. This is a technique that involves revising an unwanted event or situation in your past or present, and replacing it with the desired outcome. For example, if you had a bad interview for a job you wanted, you can revise it in your imagination and make it a successful one. By doing this, you are changing your memory and your self-concept, and aligning yourself with the reality where you have the job. Visualization. This is a technique that involves creating a vivid mental scene that implies the fulfillment of your desire. For example, if you want to travel to Paris, you can visualize yourself walking on the streets of Paris, feeling the breeze, hearing the sounds, smelling the scents. You can also use sensory details such as touch, taste, and smell to make your scene more realistic. The key is to visualize from the first person perspective, as if you are already there. Affirmations. These are positive statements that affirm your desired reality as if it is already true. For example, if you want to be healthy, you can affirm I am healthy and strong or I am perfectly well. You can repeat these affirmations silently or aloud, or write them down. The key is to feel the emotion behind the words, and not just say them mechanically. Scripting. This is a technique that involves writing down your desired reality as if it is already happening. For example, if you want to have a romantic relationship, you can write a letter to your future partner, describing how happy you are together, what you do, how you feel. You can also write a journal entry or a story about your desired reality. 
the key is to write in the present tense, as if it is already true. Living in the end. This is a technique that involves living as if you already have your desire fulfilled. For example, if you want to be wealthy, you can act as if you are wealthy, dress as if you are wealthy, spend as if you are wealthy, within reason. You can also live in the end mentally and emotionally, by feeling grateful for your wealth, confident in your abundance, generous with your money. The key is to embody the state of being that matches your desire. These are some of the techniques that Neville Goddard taught and used himself to manifest his desires. He said that the secret of imagining is the greatest of all problems, to the solution of which every man should aspire, for supreme power, supreme wisdom, and supreme delight lie in the solution of this great mystery. He also said that all things are possible to him who believes. So how long does it take to manifest using Neville Goddard's method? The answer is, as long as it takes for you to feel natural and real about your desire. And how can you speed up the process? By using these techniques consistently and persistently until you reach that state of mind and feeling. Remember that imagination creates reality, and the feeling is the secret. You are the creator of your own reality, and you can manifest anything you desire by assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled. Let's summarize what we have covered. Neville Goddard taught that the time it takes to manifest our desires depends on two factors, the intensity of our feeling and the naturalness of our state. The more we feel the reality of our wish, and the more we accept it as natural and normal, the faster it will manifest. He also taught that we can shorten the time by living in the end, by imagining that we already have what we want, and by feeling grateful for it. To manifest money and wealth, Neville advised us to imagine scenes that imply that we are already rich and prosperous, and to feel the joy and satisfaction of having abundance. He also suggested us to use affirmations, such as I am wealthy, money comes to me easily, or I have more than enough, and to repeat them until they feel natural and true. The key is to be consistent, persistent, and faithful in our imaginal acts, and to trust that they will manifest in the perfect time and way. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. I would love to hear from you.